Hello everyone and welcome to the generic live show! Wow! What a... What a bumpy start! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the generic live show. This is the generic live show. This is the generic live free show. The free show is the most generic live show on the internet. My name's Dale Campbell. And welcome to the Generic Live Show. Hi. Uh, I'll be your comptroller in the evening, Dale Campbell. Uh, I'll be your coach. See, there you go. I'll be your coach. Your, your live coach. Uh, it's Dale Campbell here with you. We're doing a... we got a good show plan for the night. Uh, just want to put it out there. Uh, yeah, we got, we got a good show. We've got... More sports ball than what I'd hoped for. But, uh, what can you do? It's sports ball day. Happy uh, soup in a bowl day. So, there's that. Are we going to be talking all things big game today? Uh, for the better part of the first hour and a bit of the second hour. And then we've got, we got a bit, it's, I should have actually titled the stream uh, Nerds vs Jocks, realistically. If, if, I was being completely honest with myself. But I thought I'd better not put that burden on anyone else. So hi. Oh, uh, grace me, will you, as I warm up here. Oh. Oh, and we're starting again. Yeah, put that back there. Put you back there. Uh, the show will start in about half an hour's time. But in the meantime, oh, man, it was a struggle to get out of bed this morning. Man, oh man, it's been a... I haven't had a weekend like the one I just experienced in a long time. In a few years, even. You know, I haven't, I haven't experienced that at all. So... Oh, and by the way, before I talk about my miserable weekend, because that's what the patrons want to pay for. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's what you really came half an hour early is to win, listen to me whinge about how jam-packed my weekend of work was. Uh, we do have the Discord lines open. Just want to put that out here. At the top of the pre-show, uh, the Discord lines are open at geekdashownet slash Discord. I'm in channel general today because I think that's that's gonna be where I think I'm gonna be situated for now uh, until. Until I get a moderator in here <laughs> because you guys can't see uh, other stuff. So, you know. Um, I want to know why everything has changed to me. I've changed everything. <laughs> I've ruined everything. Uh, but I am in channel general, if you want to call out through the pre-show, the show proper, or in the post-show. Wish just texted me. This just in. Beep, 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 beep. This just in. Turn that down a little bit more, that's a bit loud. Uh, Wish just texted me the shopping 
application. Just message me going, Remember, you can pick up Valentine's Day gifts. <laughs> Thanks, Wish. Thanks for reminding me that I am single. <laughs> Thank you for that. I really 100% appreciate that. Man, I don't have any gas in the tank today. <laughs> I, I'm happy to be here. Like, I'm not... I'm not not happy to be here, and I want to thank everyone for their feedback from last week. Uh, a, the new time slot is works out really well, just too well, and I don't know how it hadn't been a thing uh, before now. But there you go. So thank you everyone for the time slot. And thank you everyone for your feedback on the Mr. Paul vacation. Uh, feedback on that. We did get a little bit of feedback on that. And I might address it on the show. We do <laughs> have quite a busy sports ball episode planned. That's why we're called the Generic Locker Live Locker Room. Generic Live Locker Room today. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do... And this is the pre-show, so this is me talking smack about the show in front of the show's face. Uh, so, what what I'm aiming to do... I'm, tr I'm trying to do stuff with the titles. Uh, and... Just so, just so people can um, uh, see it. I'm uh, on the on the chat. I'm trying to yeah do a little bit more creative stuff with the titles, um, but I don't know entirely what that entails yet. Like last week's episode was called what's it called a very a very very extraordinary generic live return. And this week, because it's heavily sports ball related, excuse me, I've called it the Generic Live Locker Room. So, which might turn people off, but it might also turn people on. <laughs> I just realised what I was... I just realised where... It's going to be like this all night, ladies and gentlemen. All night. All night. I'm so glad that I, I'm the warm-up act, though, to Game of Geeks now. I'm just, just getting warmed up. But, again, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, but this last weekend, and, that, and that's probably how it was so hard to get out of bed uh, this morning, was over the weekend, like, Friday night into Saturday morning, and then Saturday night into Sunday morning, I did 3 a.m. finishes. I did the overnight. I know it's a really early overnight for 3 a.m. But it's the it's the tag team shift. I call it. I did tag team. I tag teamed all night long. That's a quote. I add that as a quote. A okay, quote. Uh. <laughs> I tag teamed all night long. Dale. I love the. I said, by the way, if you're not watching it, twitch.tv slash. Uh, twitch.tv slash Geekio Show. Uh, we have a quote feature and it just. Uh, oh. I'm down. <laughs> Uh, that's wrong. I thought I was meant to do add quote. Uh, so I'm never letting the kangaroo go. It's a Dale quote. Uh, it's the bang quote command. Uh, allows you to bring one there. Oh, so he, here's a quote from CJ. If that doesn't become a quote, I don't know what will. <laughs> Perfect. It's like CJ's here. 
It's like it. I love, love, love the quote system. It's a whole bunch of fun. Let's see what else comes up. Uh, if it's half melted, uh, it's half melted, but it still does the job. Number 17, I have no context clues for that. No context clues. Apart from the fact that I said that. At one point in time, I said that. Uh, but this last weekend, so I did... I worked 24 hours in one day. Uh, two days, rather. I did two 12-hour shifts. And 12-hour shifts are fine. It's just 12-hour shifts going into the next day. And then when I got home on Saturday... I had to, I did a show I had to edit, and no, it wasn't the Generic Live Hangout, and I know I still have to edit and post the Generic Live Hangout. It's coming. Because that show doesn't have a deadline, it has, it has to be posted sometime in February. <laughs> I know I have to get to it, I know! I know! But we did, we did do the Generic Live Hangout as well, uh, which... You can find it on twitch.tv slash generic live show. Which I think that, that, show, that channel is going to be the generic live hangout and anything creative that I do is going to go on that channel from now on. So, just fine. Uh, and then I, yeah, I did the generic live hangout and. which was a bunch of fun. Uh, that's the. The show that I've decided to reboot after the last episode I did was in April of 2014, believe it or not. Man, I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> so that was the last Jerry Club Hangout I did. Uh, we did one on Wednesday, and it'll be up by it'll be up by the time. No, no, it won't be up by the time it gets here. It's coming, it's coming. Actually, by the time the by the time the, the pre-show goes up on YouTube, it'll be it'll be out. So by the time that happens, so yeah, by the time yeah by the time the pre-show comes out on on YouTube, the Generic Live Hangout would be out on YouTube.com/slash Generic Live Show. Uh, and that and doing that show is a bunch of fun. If you want to know more about what, like more of the technicality side of things that I've been up to, less so than the actual things that I've been up to. Uh, so outside of work, making this weekend uh, long, extraordinarily long, uh, I. I'm going to spoil something. I'm going to spoil you. Uh, I had to do... Actually, you know what? I won't spoil you because the, the reveal... The reveal on the episode is actually pretty good, but I had a recording session of a podcast on the network that I am joining... So, I had that recording session yesterday afternoon. So by the time, yeah, by the time I finished at 3 a.m. on Saturday, uh, pushed out the show that I, I was meant to get out, pushed everything out the, off for the weekend. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna get this section of window of time done. Everything else can wait until at least next week. Uh, but now that the show's uh, on Monday, uh, it works out pretty well. So, because I can, I can do the show and stick around for a little bit afterwards. And then I go to work and then I get home and then it's editing the show. And then it's done. And then I can pretty much have... Tuesdays are pretty much my... Free day-ish? TM? Ish. They look quieter. 
Oops, uh. Are you talking outside of my room? Huh. Something's going on. I mean, it's Monday morning, so why. I don't understand why it wouldn't be going on. It's just weird. I mean, I could pause the show, but I'm not. I'm not going to. So we had that recording session, and then I pretty much crashed after that. And then my alarms went off this morning, and I'm like, Ugh. but I'm then. But but on the other hand, I'm kind of glad I was going to bump the show anyway, because there was no way that I was going to do a five and a half, six hour recording session and not take the night off. Uh, this has been Life Chat. <laughs> Welcome to Life Chat. This is the easiest pre-show that I've done, by the way. Just want to put that out there. I'm, I'm ahead of the curve here. Uh, everyone's probably watching sports ball, so I don't... I don't expect there to be much interaction at all on this week's live episode. So, woo for sports ball. Uh, but we're here, we're doing it, and we're going to be joining in on that conversation. Because <laughs> what else do you do? What else do you do? What else? Uh, we, I actually, I do have a, a, a small gripe to get off my chest. Just a, just a tiny gripe. A tiny grip, if you will. <clears throat> to get off my chest. Not that, not that I gripe much, right? <laughs> he says, trying to convince himself <laughs> of not griping too much. Uh, but, so... Dieting trends. We all know we all know dieting can be a bit of a, a hefty task, right? To put on one's self. And there's more and more. I want I want to call them dieting trends because there, there there are so many fad diets, fad diets out there that, that it's a bit it's a bit weird that that every couple of weeks I pop up there's a new diet a new hot diet that all the Millennials are trying talk about those Millennials let's talk about those Millennials uh, he says being a Millennial uh, but anyway so there's there's now such a thing. Oh, that, oh, that's out of control today. There, there's, there's now such a thing, and I don't know if I, I don't know if this is new or if I just missed the boat on this one. But there's now such a thing as a flexitarian, a flexitarian. I, I don't I, I don't understand Could you be all right now a flexitarian is exactly what you think it is It's a vegetarian who's only part time Let me uh, Flexitarium, this, this, this article uh, from news.com.au I'm going to show it here real quick uh, It says Flexitarianism Vegetarianism But fun 
this video explains. Um, I don't know how I can uh, show this fully. Let's have to zoom out. Oop, too far. So this video is going on. Uh, let me restart it here real quick. Let's face it, we all love meat, vegetarians are healthy. Alright, there we go. Uh, equals better weight loss. Okay. As well as reducing heart diseases and two types of cancers. I don't understand why it's not... okay. Let's, let's try this again, third time. Uh, let's face it, we all meat lovers, vegetarians are healthier. A uh, well-based plant diet is associated with lower health, uh, body weight. It's associated with a longer life. As well as reducing heart disease and two types of cancers. I'm reading it because the sa there's no sound. Uh, but the hardest thing for people to give up is meat. Uh, the barbecue is an Australian institution. Enter flexitarianism. The name, as the name suggests, it's more flexible. Uh, flexitarianism, I'm pausing it real quick, flexitarianism, that flexit, I can't even freaking say it! Ah! Flexi, this is going to be a fun show, you guys. Uh, flexi, I can't even say it with a straight face. Flexitarians have more of a plant-based diet, but without giving up the joys of eating meat. You're not a vegetarian at that point, but anyway. Some swear by eating meat only three times a week, or cooking less meat. Try making spaghetti with half the mince, and added lentils or kidney beans to bulk up the rest. Try having a stir fry, but half the amount of chicken, and then add tofu. You're just making a stir fry! Only flexitarians has many health benefits without the social stigma of being a vegan uh, share this story at how about I don't so uh, that's a that's a flexi terrorist <laughs> oh <laughs> I might have to edit that out. Um, <laughs> flexi terror ter terrorism. I can't say it. It's so hard to say. Um, <laughs> boy, I'm gonna land myself in some hot water for that one. Ah, uh, but flexi tism. So you just okay. You're not eating meat. Right, and I, I found this story and I literally screamed at my computer. So, you're not a vegetarian, because you eat meat still, but you're just adding less meat in. So you're a flexi ter ter <laughs> flexi <laughs> I can't even say it! Vegetarian, flexitarian. There you go, flexitarian. That's not even a word. Ugh, I want to know who comes up with these dieting trends. If, if, you, if you know who comes up with these dieting trends, hit me up, please, because I, I really want to know, because they're, they're fascinating to me. Fascinating, like, who like sits down and goes, I know what everyone's into these days. We want to be vegetarians, but still eat meat. No, I, I understand the different strains of vegetarian vegetarianism, right? You've got people that don't eat eggs. You've got ovaltarians who eat fish. I think that's their deal. But saying that you're a vegetarian that eats meat is counterproductive. It's counterproductive. It's not helping society at all. <laughs> I just went through puberty there. It's not helping society at all. And 
eating meat three times a week. Hi, there are seven days in the week. You're only mostly a vegetarian at best. You're a casual tarian. <laughs> You're a casual tarian. You're an abomination on human society. No, just kidding. <laughs> I don't, okay, I don't really feel like that. I'm just trying to get myself uh, cooked up for the show. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going crazy that eating meat three times a week does not sound much like a vegetarian move at all. I, I know I'm probably missing the point. You're missing the point, Dale. It's a lifestyle choice. Ugh. I don't want my class of people to be associated. I don't want to be associated with that at all. Don't try and tell me that that's the hot new business that millennials are doing of becoming flexi, flexi, edisms, flex, flexitarians. Ugh, gross. I love my meat though. I just want to put that. <laughs> just want to put that out there. I love my meat. I eat it every day, and I understand that there are some people who don't eat meat. And there are some people that only have dairy. I I get that. Ugh, but you can't mostly eat meat. That does not make you a part of the vegetarian class. That's not the point. Ugh. Good night, everyone. No, just. Kidding. And we're done here, and done. There's the show, and good night, and done. And enjoy your soup in a bowl. <laughs> Just kidding. <sighs> I saw that, like, the other day. And I'm like, boy. <laughs> what a fun pre-show rant. I'm like, <laughs> boy. I'm like, I'm like, boy howdy. <laughs> time for, time for the world to burn. Flexi. Flexitarians. Ugh. You know. And by the way, this is, these are older generations writing the fact that millennials are doing this. Like, 99 times out of 100, right? Like, that's, that's the deal, like, are we really doing that? Are, are millennials really wanting to become a part of the, become a part of the vegetarian class by only sometimes eating meat? I like the fact, okay, I like the fact that that video, and I know we got a show to do, but I like the fact that that video outlined the fact that it's an Australian thing. Like, we have to have barbecue. How could you not have barbecue? And this is coming from a person who's been craving wings for three days. I'm having wings today. I don't care if I have to go out and, like, do it myself. I'm having wings today. I'll post a picture of wings and no one will know what I mean. It'll be great. But, ugh, I just, now I'm warmed up for the show. Now I'm, that's, that's what needs to happen. I need to clearly put in more rants in my run sheet so I can, uh, so I can, uh, so I can, like, uh, kind of blow off some steam. Clearly. Ah, man, oh man. But, we're gonna do a show in a couple of minutes here. Let myself cool down after that rant. I got myself all hot and sweaty. So. But, I'm not the only one who thinks that's a little off, right? Flexitarians. 
again, I just, I like the dismissive tone of, it's Australian, we have to have meat. I know plenty of people who are vegetarians who don't eat meat. You know, the definition of vegetarian. But I don't know any vegetarians who eat meat. I suppose that's me. I'm a, I'm a man, I'm a vegetarian who eats meat. <laughs> Uh, Alright, I'm gonna get off this topic before I kill someone. Do you guys want to do a show? <laughs> I guess we should do a show. Uh, that's not the list I wanted. Uh, do you I guess I better do a show. I mean, I'm already here. So I may, may, may as well. Uh, I'm just doing something real quick that, you know, I probably should have done before the show, but you know, didn't. I wonder where we got up to last week. This is called a bit that no one knows what I'm talking about. Wait, hang on. I just... I just clicked on that. Oh, and I just farted. <laughs> uh, I got two worked up talking about flexitarians and I forgot to get my music box with the ad break up. It happens. Uh, I'm good to do a show. Uh, let's do this. Uh, oh, I <laughs> I almost forgot my free show text. <laughs> I literally had everything to go. I had my finger over the button, and I almost forgot the pre show text. You know what? I, I I'm gonna do this, and it's gonna look weird, but uh oh. And it's not going to show up on this on the stream because I don't know how to do that yet. I'm going to do free show text. I almost forgot pre show text. All right. Uh, we're going to go in. Oh Jesus, it's too past. Uh, all right, we're going to go in three, two.